This was a very long walk to get to this location. I'm exploring the Glen Ellen Castle ruins. I went to this place of April 18th of 2021. Here is the history of this location. In 1832, Robert Gilmore III purchased about 900 acres of land at a modern day site of Loch Raven. He divided the land into two different parts, calling the Rocky Hilly area Ravenstock and the Green Valley below New Market. On the border between the two, he built Glen Ellen Castle in the geographical revival tradition of architectural complete with soaring towers and graphical windows. The manor looked like a little castle perched on the edge of a valley. The first smaller dam was built in 1880s, marketing the beginning of the decline of the Glen Ellen estate. By 1923, a larger dam had been built, flooding the new market portion of the estate and creating a vast lake now known as Loch Raven. The waters rose to within a few hundred feet of the steps of the castle. Because of the reservoir, the estate had to be abandoned and it quickly fell into ruin. Pieces of the castle were moved, saved and moved to other buildings, most notably the cloisters on Falls Road because of the safety risk. The castle was finally knocked down in 1930. Only ruins of the foundation remain. I've always loved the sound of the name Loch Raven, and I thought it would be a great name to give a setting in a book after doing some research into the history of the area. However, I found so many other things that make Loch Raven a special place. The manner used in my book is based on the plans and photos of Glen Ellen, but it's not an exact replica. The breakfast room is located in the castle's original parlor room, which didn't have nearly as many windows and opening up into a large porch. On the plans of the castle, a very large Vendera pitched, and I decided to use this instead of the porch. Also, the story does not take place in Maryland but rather some venue New England location. The town of Newmarket and Hampton Covered College are completely functional, but I did take their names from different locations near the real lock. Even the Lock Raven itself has changed in the books. Instead of being a Lock Raven itself, has changed the books. Instead of being a man-made reservoir, it's a natural lake surrounded by hills and forests.
thanks for watching my video. Make sure to subscribe, hit the like button, and also don't forget to hit the notification button so you'll know when new videos will be coming out.